What we're looking at is if there's any way, shape, or form that Roadside could just bring us a sensor, I suppose. I mean, other than that, I don't think he's going to be able to pull us. Um, we're just going to have to limp along at 35 miles an hour. There she is. It's the old exhaust sensor. That's her rig job. That's her. So we just pulled our exhaust sensor off. Um, we got going down to 35. And something's wrong with the truck. And we're guessing this got ripped off back in um, Cooper landing and now we're having problems so we pulled it all apart and there's really no way to get to it you kinda gotta buy this piece as one do you see why? after 150 miles of limping down the Alaskan highway with top speeds of 35 miles an hour we finally made it to a town with a Chevy dealer that hopefully had our part that's your two sensors, eh? What's Before that? or after the cat? Um, so plug. Yeah. It plugs in and then comes down and, and goes into the exhaust. No, I know that. Before or after the cat? There's different sensors. Is it on? That's on the side or driver's side? Uh, the passenger side. Passenger side. Right. And then is it on top or towards past your cat? Bottom of the rack. It's underneath. But you can access it from underneath. Right there. Right there. There's a so little wire be. that hangs down, goes right through the exhaust. Um, and I grab it for you. It's position two sensor. Um, what's that sensor kit? $404. It's all, so it's all the sensors? Day two of broken down truck. Um, man, paid a lot of money for a brand new Chevy diesel. And uh, uh, I'm never going to buy one of these things. There's way too many computers. Go from there. Um, one of the mechanics said that we can come over tonight and hang out. Have some beers, so I think uh, we'll go do that. His name's Kyle. Lives in a little place right behind the Chevy dealer. Um, so uh, looks like that's next on the list. All right. Well, there you go. There you go. We are in Anchorage, Alaska. Decided to sleep in a parking lot for a couple hours behind part behind Walmart. And woke up to two cops lurking around our truck and trailer. And apparently they're gonna write us a ticket. Because we're a bunch of criminals. Thanks, local police. Alright, so it's now 7.30 in the a.m. in Anchorage, Alaska, and uh, take it back. Thanks local law enforcement for letting us off and not harassing us. Really thought that was going to go the other way, uh, but they ended up being cool, like all the other police that have pulled us over along this adventure, and I'm stoked. Go have some coffee. Denny's. Denny's. Denny's is that away. We were over sleeping in parking lots, getting harassed by cops, and eating at Denny's. So when Danny broke the good news to us that we'd be moving on to Canada, in there, we were pretty stoked. All he said is they might have to flash the computer, but. So what's going on? My buddy Adrian here at Klondike Motors just ran out and said he quoted us on the wrong. Uh, sensor. He said they have it in stock and it's $59, not $420. And it's in stock? And it's in stock. 
We're pumped to get our truck fixed. Just enough time to get into Canada and drop Danny off for his flight home and for Grayson and I to get into some more fish. The trip was awesome. Um, man, just thinking about how we left from Sierraville and that feeling of getting into Alaska and the whole scene there in Valdez and a tailgate. Um, I mean, that's unlike anything I've ever experienced. Crashing the sled and messing up my face, just like the ups and downs of that, of thinking that my trip was over and just this sensation and the feeling of like, Packing things up in Valdez and knowing that we're going off, you know, to another adventure and then from that one to another. And it really only started to kind of slow down towards the last week here when it set in that I was going to have to leave. But I mean, it's definitely the most carefree I've probably felt in a long time, knowing that I've got a solid month of just open road travel experience two good friends I mean there's nothing really like it it just seems like so far-fetched now you know from like not knowing if I was gonna even get into the country you know stressing that the days leading up to this trip you know and in hindsight that was so minor it was just a minor little hiccup I never could have guessed all the you know, numerous things that came our way throughout this trip that we'd have to work around and work through. I'm glad it's all really well documented. I've been keeping a journal and taking pictures and stuff. You know, we've got, got all this stuff documented too. So it's gonna be interesting to see how this whole thing shakes out. Uh -huh.